Hello. Are you guys listening? Um, my name is April. Um, I'm single. <laughs> um, and I'm also expiring. So um, I did what most people would do. I started using online dating. This is what I found. Um, that's like a thousand of people, and I probably got spammed by hundreds of messages per day, all starting something like this. So, hi, you're beautiful. Do you want to get laid? Um, no, I don't want to get laid. This is really frustrating. So with this, we've started um, Dipify. Now, how are we different? Have you ever wondered, um, you know, have you ever met someone going to the same places, doing the same thing as you? And you're like, wow, is this destiny? You know, so um, every day, right, we've checking in on Facebook, we've liked articles, we watch YouTube, watch YouTube videos all day. Wouldn't it be nice if there was an app that can match you with such like-minded people through your online activities? So that's what we do. So when the magic moment comes, when you and someone are doing exactly the same thing at the same time, we will introduce you with the topic to start the conversation right away. This way, there's no more perverts, no more having to look for um, conversations anymore. This is much easier. Now, right now, no one is doing this in the market right now. Other competitors will just introduce you to a lot of people, um, and they won't tell you how to start a conversation. This results in only 4% response rate on average. With us, we have created 700 matches with 86% response rate meaning more people are having better conversation with us. Now, the online dating market is valued at 4.6 billion US dollars, and Southeast Asian market alone is valued at $4 million, um, and growing every year by 15%. Now, how are we going to acquire our users? We will start with the usual. So we'll pay for online ads, distribute content through on social networks, and we'll join competitions to get media exposures. We have also partnered with top universities to do a creative marketing campaign targeting their students. We have also worked with um, content providers, um, top 10 most popular YouTube channels in Thailand. Um, our revenue models will be premium features ranging from $199 to $999. The users can use this to um, better choose who they want to meet. And we'll also sell stickers on our chat platform as well. Now, our team. Um, Chris, the CEO, is the dating expert. He used to run single events, the largest single events company in Canada, where his members are willing to pay him $5,000 just to start conversation. Now, with this idea, um, we have put in our own money and time to scale this service into the online world with Dipify. So, last slide. Meaningful conversation, um, sorry. Every meaningful relationship starts from a conversation. So, start the right one with us, Dipify. Thank you. How long have you been up and running? Um, we just launched two weeks ago. So 700, 700 respondents in two weeks with 80%, 86% oh. mesh rate. Yeah, that one is um, doing our closed alpha testing. So that's three weeks with 100 users. Okay. And what's the algorithm for matching? Oh, um, it will be online activity. So right now, it's only work for YouTube and Facebook. So um, watching the same YouTube video, checking in at the same place on Facebook, or um, reading the articles with, you see the Facebook likes. Yeah, if you, if you like the same articles, then... How are you matching it? Well, exactly like that. So every two person that's doing the same activities, then we send them to a notification. I'm not sure if that's a question. So, so basically, um, as long as somebody's like, as long as two people on on either Facebook or YouTube are doing exactly the same thing, Dipify will grab that notification at the same time. Dipify will grab that notification, send both parties. Would you like to discuss this topic? If both parties accept, they can engage in that conversation on our platform because we have a chatting um, platform for them to chat on. If they get an emotional connection from those topics that they're discussing, then they can move off the platform. So um, it's running in the background. You don't actually have to use Dipify um, once you set set your profile, uh, basically set and forget system. Basically you set your YouTube, you set your Facebook, and then you forget us. Only when there's an opportunity to have a conversation, we'll notify both parties to engage on the platform. So it's totally synchronous 
And if they were not doing it at the same time, you wouldn't be able to track it. Correct. What other types of social media are you, you planning on integrating beyond YouTube and Facebook? So what's beautiful about our system is that we built it to scale in that way. So anything, um, we're actually looking at like Instagram, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, any social network that has a public um, API, also having anything that's publicly shared. So we only grab anything that's public. So you have to do an action, like checking in, um, giving us your location. Those are the things that we want to grab. And then we'd grab those online serendipities and match you based on that. So it's a little bit safer. Have you considered building a, a social profile over time and then starting to match people instead of doing it in a synchronous fashion? Um, to, to um, right now, um, right now it's just the basics, so we're just doing this as our MVP. Eventually we will do exactly what you said to make better matches, um, and then eventually we can evolve it. So it could turn into a social network outside of uh, just the dating space. I mean, I like the concept because, as you point out, there's a lot of challenges with existing dating networks and platforms. I've actually seen some other companies that are looking to try and tackle the same challenge, so it's, a, it's kind of an interesting approach there. Thank you. What are some of your uh, current competitors and how are you different from them? Um, let me go back a little bit. Can we have the slides back? Um, so right now there's a lot of um, competitors in terms of the dating industry. So um, most dating apps are well, there, I would like to categorize them into two different um, categories. So the, ones would, the first one would be you look through the profiles of the people you want to meet, and then you select the ones that you think are suitable for you, and then you talk to them. And the second one would be more like a, a gaming aspect. So you either answer questions, you swipe, or um, they match you through your um, like interest or something like that. And then you start talking. But the two of them are the same in the way that they don't help you start conversation. And then um, the profiles can be fake. The questions you answer can also be fake. And you never actually updated your interest. So most of the dating apps would grab your interest from, your, say, your Facebook. But you only set it up once, right? I, I set up my interest in Facebook maybe five years ago, and I never updated them. So those things go outdated very easily. For us, we grab real-time activities. So the things that you do right now, those are the things that matter. Now, another thing that I would like to talk about is that in the dating um, industry, we don't actually consider ourselves competitors. So just imagine, like me, for example. I'm single, right? My only goal is to find a boyfriend. So I'll, I'll start using one application, and then I couldn't find a boyfriend. So I start the second one, and the third, and the fourth, until eventually I find my boyfriend, then I'll stop using them all. So how it works is that we would help each other getting the user, because once they start using one, they'll, start, they'll use everything, right? So we're not actually competing. So thank you. Thank you very much, P5.